today's instant Zen practice, we're going to focus on all those areas that seem to get stuck when you have been electronically engaged or at a computer all day. And there are some days where I spend five or six hours at the computer and my shoulders are hunched and my neck is forward and everything's just a little bit sore. So this is a break you can take in the middle of your day to kind of stretch those areas out. You can do it in a chair or standing in an office. No one's going to really know what you're doing. You can also just do this at the end of your day if you like as well. So we're gonna start seated. I like to sit on something a little bit propped up. Gives me a little bit more length in my spine. And we're just gonna start with some basic neck stretches. So go ahead and drop your right ear over to your right shoulder. You're gonna take your right hand to the temple and just gently weigh the head down. Take your left fingertips down to the ground and take some nice deep breaths. So sometimes I find if I tilt my chin up a little bit more, I get more of these muscles that need a little bit more of a stretching out after computer work. One more deep breath. Go ahead and drop those fingertips down and drop your chin to your chest. And then other side, go ahead and take that left ear over to that left shoulder. Left hand on, gently on the temple, right fingertips down to the ground. Once again here, you can drop the chin down toward the floor or up toward the ceiling just to find that spot that needs the deep stretch. One more deep breath. And then release that hand down. Go ahead and drop your chin to your chest and tuck the chin in, shoulders away. Bring the chin back up to center. Take that right arm across. You're gonna hook your left elbow or left forearm underneath that right. Pull that shoulder away and then turn and look over the opposite shoulder. So you're looking over your right, stretching out with the fingertips. And then release back to center, switch sides. This is great for stretching the back side of the shoulders, getting a little neck stretch. And then release back to center. Go and roll those shoulders out. And then turn your head to the right. You're gonna take your right fingertips and just press the chin just a little bit more so you get a little bit more turn to the right. Other side. So a lot of people hold their tension in their upper back, shoulders and neck leading to tension headaches. Tightness in this area, back to center. Drop your chin to your chest. You're gonna interlace your hands around behind and just take your thumbs and press them down toward the base of your skull. And you're just gonna let your elbows drift. You're not pressing, you're just letting the weight of your hands take your head more. Release and come back to center. Right hand around behind you, left hand to your left knee, and you're gonna twist to the right. Roll that right shoulder back. Look to the right. And then back to center. You're gonna cross hands over each other. Tuck the chin to the chest, arch the back into a C-curve. And then come back up straight. Just a couple of these. Sort of a cat cow with a little bit of a cross shoulder. 
And then we're gonna switch sides. Right hand to the right knee, left hand behind you, twist. And then back to center, hands underneath again. Arch and curve into the C, back up again. Let me go ahead and come on to hands and knees for cat cow. So I feel like cat cow is an underused little flow here. You can inhale, arch and round. Exhale. Inhale, belly down. Exhale, round. Two more, really pressing the floor away from you. Really taking those shoulders away from the ears. And then go ahead and come back to center. Take your hands a little bit wider, spread your fingers wide, flip your toes. Come back to downward facing dog. Bend your knees, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Come up halfway. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, hands to heart. So we're gonna take our hands behind us, interlace the fingers, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest and exhale, fold forward. So you can do this seated in this chair as well. You don't have to be standing. I just like to get a good hamstring stretch along with my shoulder stretch. So if you have a lot more opening in your shoulders, you can take those hands a little bit higher up over your head or bring the palms together. And here we're gonna shake out your head yes and no. And on an inhale, come all the way back up. Release your hands. We're gonna take right on top of left, or say left underneath right. Palm to palm or back of hand to back of hand in eagle pose. Lift up and then exhale, fold. So let the elbows drift away from the back, hands drift toward the floor. Relax your neck. And then inhale all the way back up. Switch, right underneath left, palm to palm or back of hand to back of hand. Lift those elbows high. Go ahead and fold forward. Exhale, unwind, bend your knees. Come back down onto your seat, or if you're already still seated, you can just stay there, right? Take that right hand over to the right, walk the fingers out, take that left hand up and over, and stretch as far as you can away from that left side, but still keeping that left hip on the floor. And then take that left hand behind you, touch your lower back and just rotate. Come back to center. Walk those left fingers out, right hand goes up and over. Stretch as far away from that hip as you can. And then take that right hand around behind you to your lower back, twist that right shoulder open. Come back to center, roll the shoulders. Maybe roll the wrists. They get stuck too in the computer world. Wiggle your fingers, make fists and spread. And you're all done. I hope this helps relieve some of the tension and stress that builds up in the neck and shoulders from electronics and particularly computer work. If you enjoyed this practice, please like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again on the mat. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.